Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Championships have reigned historically on the Sunshine State. Both the Gators and the Seminoles have claimed their share. Florida and Florida State getting set to hook up in the battle for the Governor's Cup. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. two of Florida's finest football programs. And now let's head down to the coin toss. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Bird from the three. Across the 30. He's tackled the 37-yard line. Final game for these seniors on their home field. Some will get to the next level and play some more football. Others, they'll be putting the helmet on for the final time. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Gets out to around the 45. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. They line up in the jumbo set. He fights forward to about the 43. Grant picks up two yards with the carry. That makes it second and eight. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 22, he's coming, 22's coming. Mike, Mike. Tackle made at the 41 yard line. Call it again, two yards. That makes it third or seven. From the 41 yard line, third down. scrambling he's taken down at the 34 that's a case where good discipline and execution by an offense make the difference between fourth down and a first down makes it out to about the 26 Second and two, ball on the 26-yard line. 12-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll bring him down around the nine-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the nine-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. 
And this is the tenth play of the drive. down goal to go all on the two on the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's check out what's going on in University Park. We've got a tight one going on here. SMU in front, 3-0. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Brooks from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 48. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. And he's level at the 50. That makes it second and eight. Scrambling. A five yard quarterback scramble. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. throw incomplete one of his receiver that's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there they need to get their signal straight doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here he just wants to change field position sometimes it's not the huge distance but precision that you need from your punter nicely done and offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Got some open field. Tackle around the 29-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From their own 29-yard line, first down. Florida is up a score. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. He reels off 10 yards in the counter. And he's tackled after positive yardage. their own 46 yard line first down that's a great tackle at the 48 this game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter seven nothing Florida
And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Runs outside for a nice game. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Makes it to the 34. That's good for the of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They come out in a goal line set. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. Great looking play by the offense as the halfback took it in for the score. Here's a play that was well designed and well executed. It can't get much better than that. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 85-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. They line up to kick this one away. Turner takes it at the eight. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 31. at the 28-yard line. Three-yard loss there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. Maxi awaits the snap. And he's hammered down. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Here's the halfback. Brought down at about the 49. The running back gets two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 49. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. That'll bring up third and eight. Right left, right left. Three down, three down. Mike 22, he's coming, 22's coming. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled at the 42. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. side with a counter play. And down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. The defense just met the blockers head-on and drove them back straight into the runner. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 22, Mike 22. Go! This is four. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at the 39-yard line. That's good for a game. 
third down and they need to get it down to the 32. He's on the run. He's wrapped up for the sack. Well, he isn't one of the best players in the country for nothing, Kirk. He is just relentless in his pursuit of the quarterback. He is certainly a first-class pass rusher. Well, a man down, and the trainer's on their way out to have a look. Cunningham is set back, ready to punt. He'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner. is into the end zone and this will be a touchback the quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play fires that quickly incomplete you know the quarterback's very fortunate that his wide receiver is getting up from that hit that's a big hit by the defender quarterback should go up to his receiver and apologize for putting that ball into position where he almost had his head taken off. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Richard makes the tackle at the 25-yard line. That'll make it third and five. From their own 25-yard line, it's third down. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Scrambled. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled him. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Butler is back deep to return the play. <laughs> Butler fields it at the 39. The Gators are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be playing. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Scrambling around. He's at the 40. He's taken down at the 27. So you've got a guy who's not only liable to beat you with his arms, but with his legs, too. That is a tough quarterback to stop. First and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. Just throws this one away. scrambling and they make the stop at the 27 yard line the Gators they're gonna have to call their third and final timeout third down now they need to get it to the 17 he scrambled but he didn't get much Brad this defense reacts too quickly for a scramble like that to work he needs to spread them out a little bit more to try to create more room to run that close to being intercepted that'll make it fourth and ten One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He's looking for his man. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. So we've played two quarters. The Gators lead 14-0. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but 
Now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. We've got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Brooks from the four at the 30. And down he goes at the 32. Florida is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll bring him down at about the 35. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's scrambling, heading for the corner. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Knocked out of bounds around the 48-yard line. And he has a huge game. And I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. From the 48-yard line, first down. Makes it out to about the 40. That's a game on the play. That makes it second and two. Coming up, ball on the 43-yard line. Listen to this place. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. He doesn't want a touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Tries to set up the screen, but drops. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. run there. Grant gets about four yards on the play. That'll bring up third and six. yard line first down the 
tackle after a decent pickup. Grant gains about five yards on the run. That brings him second and five. Man left, man left. Throw it down, throw it down. Mike 22, he's coming, 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. Up the middle for a nice game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50 yard line. He fights forward to about the 49. Call it a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. And here's another third down. There's a strike complete. He's down. Anderson picks up about four yards with a catch. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Down two possessions, this offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of six yards. First down. Here we go. Mike 12, Mike 12. Oh, 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 oh. Green, Big oh. opening. And he was that close to turning that into a big play. That makes it first and ten. ten. So with one quarter remaining, Florida leads 14-0. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Strike to his receiver, no good. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 32 yard line. That's good for a of seven yards. That makes it third and three. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. So they're going to go for it here. And he's tackled after positive yardage. First down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Let's go. 
He's on the run. It's on the ground. They fall on it. He tackles him for a loss. Second down and 14 after the sack. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they'll get him in the backfield. Tenth play of the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Down at about the 19 yard line. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. Just under three to go in regulation. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. It's second and seven. Ball on the 21. 22 by 22. Yeah. Hey. Makes it to the 31. He's up to 100 rushing yards now. Brad, this guy's only a freshman. Can you imagine what he'll be doing the defenses as a sophomore or a junior? He has really put it together. And really, I think it's his combination of having great speed and great size who has been able to really exploit this defense. He fights forward to about the 33. Brown comes away with two yards on the quarterback keeper. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. From their own 33-yard line, second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Green picks up about seven yards on the run. Florida State's called their final timeout. Man left, man left. He's taken down right around the 40. No game. Fourth down. Cunningham to punt. Brooks takes it at the 21. Tackle at the 21-yard line. The Gators' defense came to play, and, man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. A little over a minute in the game. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third and five situation. Ball on their own 27. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. And down he goes at the 40 yard line. That's a game of 13 on the play. Easy, easy, easy. Eagle. Eagle. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's tackled at about the 49. 
That's good for a gain of 11 yards. Easy, 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 easy. That makes it first and 10. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw. That makes it second and 10. From the 49-yard line, second down. He's at the 40, and he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. Gain of 13 yards. Check, First down. Get him, get him, get him. Check, 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 check. Let's go. Green 88. Green 88. Let's go. Spikes the ball. That makes it second and 10. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Let's go. Let's get this ball back to the offense. Let's go. Close the fight. Ready? Let's go. Throws this one out to the left. Tackle made at the 14-yard line. Well, player down, and his teammates obviously worried after that play. Easy, 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 easy. Rich man. Rich man. Ready. The spike will stop the clock. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Here's a throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 14-0, Florida. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Florida comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.